Hey everyone, my name is Janice and I'm here with a tutorial for the fun new showcase, um, the Ferris wheel. And here's what it is. I haven't put one together because I plan on doing a video of me assembling it and then I'll be able to show the complete um, project whenever we're done. And I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, Ferris wheels are probably one of my favorite rides, so it'll be a lot of fun. And I already know my kids are going to ask for one each. <laughs> so these are the dies that comes with the Ferris wheel. Uh, this large piece right here is the stand that holds the wheels in place. These two are going to be like the poles that go through. Um, this is for the basket or carriage, whatever you uh, prefer to call it. <laughs> This right here um, is the decoration of the wheel. We're going to be doing like outer wheel and then one on the inside. And these right here are for decoration for the wheels. And then we have a handle and then some more decorations. I actually have a heart. I believe it fell off, but it's one of the thin ones. It is just like this one, but thinner. And I already know I'm going to be using these a lot. <laughs> So, since we have all our things, let's go ahead and um, get started so I can show you how many to cut and what pieces you'll need. Actually, I just found this. <laughs> oh, and here's the other heart. <laughs> I wanted to show you how many to cut for each die. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. With this one, you're going to need six pieces cut out and I'll just set it right back these two pieces inside are are the decoration um, I did one separate piece in a pink color the ballet pink now for the inside this piece um, you'll just need two and then these two together you'll need two as well if you want to do a decoration similar to what I did and I went ahead and glued it on. Put these back. And the next piece is part of the base. You'll need two of these. I did one in a black and one in the pearlescent just because the black's gonna be underneath. You just use any scrap piece or whatever. I was just trying to use up my pieces that I have cut. <laughs> And then this one, you're going to need two of these. And these are that. And then this middle piece right here is for the decoration. I just did two. Um, this right here is the handle. You'll only need one. I'll just put the pieces that I already showed right over to the side. And part of the big part of the fair as well <laughs> is this one. This one we're going to need a lot. So I did two different colors just to show you the outside and the inside. I did 12 of the glitter so that they can be on the outside. And then I did 12 of the ballet pink so it can be on the inside. And I'll be able to explain that as we um, start putting it together why I did two different colors. You can use the same color if you want on the outside and the inside. And uh, the little hearts and little like teardrop looks, I actually saved those extra pieces because I thought they were really, really pretty and I can use that, which is where um, the little heart came in. And the next piece, you could do 12 of these if you want to cover up the um, back of this and then layer it or you can do 12 of each of these pieces right here so these basically are um, gonna be adhered together so these two will go together and these two and then what it looks like is this is the uh, piece with less space is the back and then the one that's more spread out is going to be layered right on top so that when we apply it to the pieces, 
they'll kind of line up behind it and then this will kind of go on the opposite side and it'll go something like this and like this but I'll be able to to show you as we go but that's pretty much what these four pieces look like uh, the other one is just gonna be a solid piece and it'll be doubled up so if you wanted to do that you can as well this little washer piece right here um, you're gonna need two of those I just did silver because it reminded me of like the nuts and bolts in the washer <laughs> and these four right here are these small circles you're gonna need 12 of these this piece right here you're only gonna need one but with this one right here, you're gonna need six of them. Moving on to the actual carriage. So this piece right here, you're going to need um, 12. I went ahead and decorated mine. So you can too if you want <clears throat> with the pieces inside. And I really liked using this one because it had the heart. So I used that as part of the de decoration on some other ones. And uh, the little dots are from this piece right here. And then these little um, like teardrop looks are from the other um, pieces. So I kind of kept all the pieces that I thought were kind of like round, like teardrops, circles, and hearts so that I can reuse it to decorate it. So you can decorate it however you like. That's pretty much what these are too. I use this for the thin heart. If you want like a little bit thicker, you can use this heart. Um, I did 12 of these because I plan on putting them on an outline onto the front of the dies. You can do any color to, to put on there. It's up to you, you don't have to add it if you don't want to. This piece right here, you're gonna need two. And I want to say I went over all the pieces that you're gonna need. The rest is just decoration. So we can go ahead and start putting them all together. Now the next step is just gluing these together. You don't have to bend them. You just keep them just like this. And it shows you right here, this is the glue tab. We're gonna glue them all together to create the circles. And you're gonna do this to all of the pieces so I have just two sets right here because I already did the second set I'm just gonna do these two right here and then I'll show you the finished set When you're done with your wheels, um, just set them to the side to dry. You're gonna get the large, this is the large piece, and then you're gonna get your six smaller pieces and fold them the same way. And basically all of these are, are crease lines. So I'm just gonna fold them. And the last piece is a glue tab. And we're just going to glue it just like this so it'll be a square. And then with the pieces on the end, you're just going to fold them out. Okay, we're going to set this aside and now we're going to move on to the decorative pieces. Since I already put these together, I'll just show you with um, a separate piece that I have already cut what um, what it looks like. And it'll be the similar 
it'll be the same for um, the bottom pieces as well. So in the top piece, you're going to have one bottom piece that's going to be less um, space in the holes. And then the top piece is going to go right on top. And it's going to be the same thing for the bottom here. And what you're going to do is the top piece, you're just going to turn it around and add glue. And I say to do it at the top piece because um, it has more space. So if you do the bottom first, you might put glue in places uh, you don't have to. It'll look like this. And then you'll do that and repeat it for all of the pieces that you have. You'll have 12 of the top and then 12 of the bottom. I'm getting my front uh, wheel. This is the wheel that's going to be on the outside. I'm going to put these pieces on the back of this one. And then I'm going to turn it over and then just make sure everything's lined up in the middle. Just press it down. I actually use these circles to help me line it up so I know it's centered. So we can place our outward wheels to the side and then we can go ahead and get our inward wheels. And what we're going to do, I'll actually demonstrate with some other ones that I made for a different set that I plan on making. So go ahead and get your six pieces that are small and then the one large piece. This is going to be for the middle, the rest are going to be for the... Um, sides right here so this one is going to go inside the decorative piece it's going to be like this when we uh, put it together so what we're going to do is we're going to close these and we're going to put it through this hole and this is for the inward um, wheel and then we're going to open it up on the other side and we're going to do this for each of the holes that are on here and um, what we are going to do uh, you can you can put this like however you want it I like to keep like the flat side on um, the little point right here and then you're we're just going to glue it to the back so we'll just add the glue right like this and then press and hold and we're going to do that to all the sides and um, since I already did that I'm going to show you what I have, I'm going to set this aside on the other side. So this is what it will look like after um, it's been glued on there. And it's just for, for one piece. I have it already attached to the outer piece just because um, I was just trying to save up some time. But I do hope it does make sense that we're just putting in on the inward die. So this white one is the inward, and then we're just gluing the other side for all six sides. Now once that is done, we do glue these two pieces together. So it'll look like this. We have all our 
six pieces through. We have this glued to just this piece. And then um, you can just place the glue on the raised pieces and just line it up to match uh, each of the ones on there. Since this is already done, um, I'm gonna just set this aside because we'll actually uh, do the same thing once we put everything on it with this piece right here. So, this is what you will end up with after you put all six pieces onto the wheel. We will set this aside and go ahead and move on to our carriages. Now with the carriage, you're gonna go ahead and decorate it. It's just easier to decorate. I still have to decorate some of this because I plan on putting some of the pieces like on the inside. It almost looks like ribbon. And like I said, these are just pieces that were left over from the inside of the of the wheels. So they have like these little teardrops, they have that, the circles, the hearts. There's so many pieces that you can just reuse for a decoration and that's what I did right here. Now I will get some more of these pieces and just decorate it quickly. Once you're done decorating, um, go ahead and crease the folds. And you're going to do this on all of these pieces that you have. And then go ahead and glue the corner. I like to glue both of the corners, that way it's already halfway done. And I just kind of hold my finger on this side so I can see where the edge lines up. And then I push down. You could do the same thing with this. You can kind of put this towards the edge and push and it'll line up with the um, back piece. That way it doesn't go too forward, too far back. When we're done with those two pieces, um, we're going to glue them right on top of each other. And then we just glue the folded tabs together. You're going to do this to all 12 pieces that you have and uh, it'll create these little carriage these little baskets carriages whatever you want to call them <laughs> and I already did my other ones those are what I came up with I think I still have to decorate these three on the inside These are the little baskets. And you can kind of tell how I'm going to be placing this. It's going to be like in between each. So I'm going to finish decorating that and then I'll show you what to do next.
once you have all your baskets decorated let's go ahead and bring that wheel with the holes attached and we're going to slide them right in This is what you should have and the fun part we're gonna get our inward wheel for the other side and the same way we attached it in the beginning we're gonna do the same right here so we're gonna put these through I can get it through <laughs> each of the holes you could do one at a time or you can do them all at once. Um, I guess I'll probably just put them all through since I already did two. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is probably going to be for one of my daughters. They're going to be playing with their little bluey characters and little Polly Pockets. <laughs> they already told me all the plans. So, when I saw this one, I was really excited. I'll probably have to make like two more. <laughs> now, go ahead and glue underneath the tab so they can attach to the wheel. And you'll do that for all of the sides. And then we're going to glue our outer piece. Right on top. And I'm just going to put the glue on the raised pieces and then line it up carefully. And I'm using the heart to see where I need to line it up. And quickly press everything down since I don't want the glue to dry. And this is what you should have. How cute. I love it already. <laughs> Little wheels. Okay, so we're going to do the base next. That way it has something to stand on. So I'm going to set this off to the side again. Actually, um, before I set it off to the side, get your small circles. This is actually going to go on top of this. That way um, it can cover the, the holes. So these are the base pieces. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just glue this to the bottom piece and it'll be the edge. You'll want the pretty side down because <laughs> we'll fold that up and then uh, just crease the folds. Place 
this on both sides. I originally had glued two of these together with the tabs. Um, per the instructions, they say to only have one with the glue tab and then the other four remaining pieces to cut the tab off, cut the tabs off. Um, that's totally up to you. These are the pieces that I accidentally glued together. I really like how solid it is. Um, so I was going to put these originally uh, with the tab to be the middle piece, but um, I'm actually just gonna cut this out and put this on the, um, the inside. That way uh, it provides more support, like the instructions. The, well, let me, let me go ahead and explain. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these off and then I'll show you what the instructions want you to do and then I'll let you know what, what I actually do. So we're just gonna take these off. the two pieces together I was supposed to just do one on the inside and one on the outside just to give it such like great support and you can see it's already pretty solid when it's just like this and it keeps it pretty flat so I do understand um, the tab uh, side being there so what I'm gonna do doo -doo -doo, kind of guessing as I go along since this is my first one I'm gonna do the double layered one on the outside and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut one more and put it on the inside so um, just keep in mind I did this by accident and I didn't want to waste it so this can be just one piece and then one piece just like that if you want to double it up like I did that's fine it's just more support so I will go ahead and glue the black side in and then cut out uh, one more that I'm going to put on the inside. Actually, uh, before I glue this, let me glue the base. That way you can see um, how we cover the tabs. I'm kind of pushing it down. That way I know it's going to be flat completely. Okay, and then I'm going to flip it upside down so we can see the decorative side and I'm going to go ahead and put on my decorations. Okay, and then we'll glue the tabs one at a time um, will probably be easiest just one side at a time. When your base is done, you should have something like this. Like that. It's really strong. It's just staying up on its own. <laughs> so we are going to get our last large piece. And 
the handle pieces. So these are all the handle pieces. And what we're gonna do We're going to go ahead and put these through the hole. Do, 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 do. Actually, we're gonna get our we're gonna get our wheel. And line up the holes. Because we're going to put this all the way through. I might have to push a little, that's okay. On this side. little washer <laughs> and this is what we're gonna glue the tabs to this piece right here I guess to the circle first kind of line it up to the middle and that little washer will glue up um, behind it that way it covers the, the tabs as well. I don't know if you can see, I put glue on that little piece and I'm just gonna kinda hold it up against, against it. And um, if you have reverse tweezers, this comes in handy. Or even if you have tweezers just to push it up That'll help. So before you glue this to the outer circle, we're going to put on the handle. And I want that to attach to the back piece. So that when I spin it, it's spinning the actual um, wheel. So it'll be like this, glue all over. And then I'll just spread this out so I can glue the inside and just attach it all together. And this will be the last piece for the base. This is probably going to be the most fun to use after. <laughs> My handle's still a little wet, so I'm just gonna move this. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can get a better view of the wheel. This. I love it. I'm just gonna add a few more little decorative pieces and then we will be done.
<laughs> this is really neat. <laughs> so the Ferris wheel is complete and oh my goodness, I just love it so much. I just know you guys are going to love it too. Look at that. And that's just with the handle. <laughs> I'm just so amazed at how how detailed and how you can create such kind of creations with just papers. So I'm definitely excited. I think my next one is going to be purple because uh, pink is my youngest daughter's favorite color. Purple is my middle child and I'm going to have to ask my teenager if he wants one. <laughs> but I don't know. I think I might make one for myself too. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully a lot of you get the Ferris wheel because it's definitely a lot of fun. I can already see all the gifts and um, little like snacks and stuff and it might be even perfect for Easter. Thank you guys for watching and following along. I hope you enjoyed the video and happy crafting. Bye.